True romance requires a special kind of chemistry, literally. This study is one of the first studies that gives us a specific um, mechanism um, to define romantic chemistry. Evolutionary psychologist Christine Garver Apgar gave 48 romantically involved couples questionnaires that measured aspects of their relationship and sex lives. She also took DNA samples to test how similar or different the couples were in a specific area of the genome. If their genes in this area were very similar, there was a greater chance of trouble in paradise. Women were less sexually satisfied with their partners. They were more sexually attracted to men outside of their current relationship, particularly when they were nearing ovulation. And they actually reported having more extra pair sexual partners during the course of their relationship. The section of the genome Garver Apgar studied is involved with immune system function. As she wrote in the journal Psychological Science, partnering with someone whose immune system is genetically different than yours makes sense from an evolutionary perspective. You may um, ensure that your children um, have an immunological advantage. So they may be buffered by a wider variety of pathogens and toxins. While that may not be the most romantic spin on what's usually considered a matter of the heart, it does support the old saying that opposites attract. I'm Brad Closer.